morning guys I'm uh, drinking from my lovely Louise H Reed coffee mug this morning thank you Louise she sent me that uh, it's a, it's part of her oh gosh I'm gonna forget about it. lady boss loyalty so if you're not listening to Louise's podcast you should totally do that she's pretty darn awesome okay so let's talk about email lists today oh my gosh I have to tell you I really tried to avoid email lists for a long time mostly because I couldn't imagine that I would actually send out any kind of regular email list and I thought I'm gonna build my business without it like I know everybody says you need one but I know I can do it without an email list and you know what I, I, you can it's just a whole heck of a lot harder uh, the other thing that's kind of funny about email lists is I think the thing that keeps us from starting is we all start at zero and it just feels awful to start at zero um, don't let that stop you. It's really, really important to build your email list, which is why it's gonna be kind of funny. At the end, I'll tell you, I deleted half of my email list yesterday and it felt great, so. <laughs> but, you know, if you think about it, you listen to any podcast, you, you know, Google, what are the top tips for an entrepreneur you're going to see build an email list. The, there are several softwares out there that are gonna help you with that. So MailChimp has a free subscription up to a certain number of email subscribers. I used that in the beginning, but I found it a little bit clunky, so I ended up moving over to ConvertKit. Um, it, MailChimp has a few more functions, but I really just wanted something simple to manage my email list, help me send out um, you know, great templates, uh, great emails to my subscribers. And so for me, ConvertKit worked really well. I think it's like $200 a year. So it's up to a thousand subscribers, so it's not terribly expensive. So definitely build your email list and then email your list once a week. Now that, I know that sounds weird and my heart's kind of like, ah, even as I say that. But it's so important to stay in contact with your community. Let them know what you're working on. Give them tips. Just help them through their journey. That's why they signed up for your email list. So let's talk about why I deleted half of my email list. Uh, I am a member of one membership group. It's a female entrepreneurs association and Carrie Green runs that group. And inside uh, there was a podcast. Actually, I think the podcast is open to anyone with Michelle Rohr, where she was talking about how she deleted like way more than half of her email list. And I even listening to the podcast yesterday, I thought there's no way I would ever do that. And then as I kept listening, I'm thinking, well, what feels bad about sending out an email? What when people don't open it? And I started looking and I thought, okay, <clears throat> for about two, two and a half months, I've been sending out a weekly email and I've got a lot of cold subscribers. So that's people who have signed up for a freebie. Maybe they've, you know, found me online and they signed up from AMLS, they landed on my website, but they've never opened my emails. Now that could be for a couple of reasons. Maybe they don't like my emails. Uh, maybe they, they just the, the titles aren't grabbing them or maybe it's going into their spam filter. Either way, I've got, or I had about 750 people on my list. My open rates were about 12% and I thought, well, what am I doing? And then I looked at my software and saw that I get charged for uh, convert kit by the number of subscribers up to a thousand is the amount that I'm paying right now and it's kind of silly coming up to, you know getting more subscribers paying more money to have them on my email list when I never open my emails anyway so I took a deep breath filtered by my cold subscribers and deleted all of them <laughs> off the list, which is weird because there was a time when I started my email list where I was like, oh my gosh, I just wish I had 20. You know, I've got me and my mom and my husband on my email list. So, um, so I deleted 389 subscribers and it felt amazing. When I first hit the delete button for all my cold subscribers, I thought I'm going to have like 20 left, but I don't, I have like 350 people left on the list, which is pretty darn amazing that 350 people are actually opening my emails. And those are the people who want to hear from me. So those are the people I want to send an email to. Um, so if you 
haven't started an email list, start it. You can do it through MailChimp for free. Uh, kind of get your arms wrapped around it. Over time, delete your cold subscribers. They're not reading your emails anyway. And I have another email going out on Thursday that I am super excited to send because I'm only sending it to the people who actually want to hear from me. I'll put a link in the comments below if you want to jump on my list. I'd love to have you. And if you haven't started a list yet, I'd love to hear why that is, what's holding you back. And then my other group uh, of folks I'd love to hear from are if you have a list but you're not sending them emails, tell me why. Because I will tell you, I was totally in that camp. I had to force myself to send these weekly emails. And the response that I have gotten has been so positive and just encouraging. So I know that I'm helping people. Okay, have a wonderful day and let me know about your email list experience. Bye guys.